right, this is going to be one of our tenth tests on UV coatings, this time on black tiles. And we're going to go ahead and apply the white product. While he's doing that, I'll go ahead and shut the camera off and put my glasses on. It's got pretty good coverage over black tiles, man. This is a black tile. I know you're just being cautious with that light high up. You're getting practice with it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Alright, this is our last coat. It's our third coat. It's our um, our direct to surface experiment. Want them to keep that light kind of high because we've got that. Uh, well, we had it formulated kind of a little bit transparent, but um, a while ago we couldn't even pull the tape off. And um, the light waves tend to break over and roll over the tile and cause the coating to pull back on itself so you can ripple the coating if you get the light too close you know if you can picture just something evaporating sort of even though it's not evaporating it's just reacting so quick it pulls away from itself and this little light is so powerful that uh, we started out at an inch and now we seem to be getting to the right height um, I think what he's doing now is overkill well, we just want to make sure because like if you're in a customer's house you know last thing you want to do is go back or something because something didn't dry somewhere even though this has a little built up backup system in it um, might as well get it right the first time you know anyway I think he's going to let it cool down and shut the now in case you guys are wondering just how fast this stuff dries, Eric just put this down, I just picked this tile up. Now what you're seeing in the reflection there is not the tile, I'm actually reflecting off some mini blinds or some some blinds there. This is the actual tile. As you could see, you could look down into the tile and see the top of a ceiling fan. Now that's pretty darn glossy in my book. I mean, um, here we go. I'm going to show you some ceiling fan. There you go. Now, uh, I mean not ceiling fans, my uh, blinds in here. And then we'll show you the ceiling fan. But but how dry is it? Is it really dry? Hold on. Alright, now, now we had a piece of black tape there. And that product is on there so good and so hard that it welded our masking tape on there. And Eric is having to pry the tape off. Remember there's that's that's tape. Um, it, that wasn't even meant to be sprayed. I mean we just went over it so that we'd have an edge to run a, a razor blade under. But you know and we had a straight line there but look at that. I think that bonding agent even reacts with that glue on there or something, man. To be honest with you. But I just wanted to show folks that it was a black tile. Hold on, but look at that. Huh? You better go in there on the side. Can you get under it? That thing is not even, what, five minutes old and he can't even get that knife under there. Oh, shit. Sure. I mean, you could gouge it, but... No way, I mean, that's... That's like porcelain, you'd have to knock it out. Pretty yeah. good, Eric. Really good. I'm gonna keep that tall and I guess I'll mail the rest of some of the other guys. So that they... And look at that, that thing is... Like it, it, it chipped like porcelain when you hit it with a knife. 
I want you to get a look at that. This stuff didn't peel. It chipped like hard glass porcelain. That was Eric, about 180 pounds and a sharp serrated knife on it. Uh, it's also a bodybuilder weightlifter, so it definitely wasn't a coating. Anyway, that's it. I, I think we're about ready. I think we need to start buying bucket loads of this stuff. This is our goal with TBRM. Just got done spraying this UV clear coat and it's super durable, super durable. I tried scraping it with a steak knife with 100, you know, 180 pounds of pressure and it didn't peel off or it had, it was literally chipped off. Um, it's a really good plan. Completing a test for the uh, UV clear coat. There are others out there, but remember PBRA is just a shade better.